let's just take this song in. The light has come. You are here. And you so the song that I am playing right now to open the energy of this miracle Wednesday is by Netta Boyne. She is a, a beautiful singer, a teacher of A Course in Miracles, and she sings songs based on The Course in Miracles. So let's take in this song for just a few seconds here, a few minutes here, um, and just be present, right? If you're if you just tuned in right now, I'm sure you you want to just rest, right? Just want to take a moment. So let's do that. Let's do that. Hi guys. The light has come. The light has come. The light has come. nothing to fear shall I say it again shall I say it again there is nothing to fear and I'm so excited to share about this topic um, I was gonna do a little Q&A as well if I have time if not next Wednesday I'll do a full half an hour on Q&A next Wednesday. I, I'm trying to be here every Wednesday at noon and officially I'm calling it Miracle Wednesdays. Um, as long as I don't have, I'm not traveling or I don't have any predicament with um, my son. I have a, a small child, he's three, so sometimes I have him on Wednesday. So um, if he's not in, in summer camp and yeah, so for those that don't know, I have been teaching, well, studying the course since um, 1995 and when I found it. And then in 2001, I, I started to join a group. And then um, ever since then, I have been doing the workbook lessons, reading the text. And now, um, since 2012, I began to, you know, I'm doing like this quotations, teach it. Um, I see it more as an expression. I see it more as a sharing. Um, and and in the world, yeah, it's called teaching. But for me, is is more of um, helping other students, helping other souls, other spirits on on um, encouraging them to go inside, encouraging them, facilitating in them. Um, to to know that the voice of Holy Spirit's inside, and that and that everything begins and ends with you. Okay, so it's like my big desire and and, and my purpose and what I love to do when I'm working with 
my my one on one students um, or even in my coaching program is just to remind um, the community, remind Course in Miracles students that um, you are your own facilitator. And, and I feel that a really good teacher is always going to point you inside and it's going to give you um, the, the um, inspiration to know that the power to heal is inside you. And that, um, I, I, I mean, a book could inspire you, but a book can't give you that or, or nothing could really give you that. Um, it's your, the Course of Miracles, all you need is a little bit of willingness and miracles happen. So with your willingness, healing happens. So my goal is always to empower uh, a brother or sister to to go inside and to um, to start to cultivate this inner musculature and connection with your higher self and, and and begin to to listen to your true self to your intuition to your intuition of, of love as much as you have the egoic thought system as much as you have that fearful voice um, that we all you know <laughs> have guidance from as well um, there's also an equally powerful incredible inspiration within us which is love which is the holy spirit which is our true self and as strong as the fear appears to be in the body and in form um the the, the light is, is 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 stronger the love is even stronger although we believe we're in a body so we pay attention more to the scarcity thinking to the separation separated thinking um and that's the good news. That's why, in truth, there's nothing to fear. <laughs> it just appears that there's a lot of things to fear. Um, lesson 48 in the Course of Miracles, which um, the coaching program I'm doing right now, um, we're actually working on this lesson. So I figured that I would um, bring it into this community and go over this lesson, which is there's nothing to fear. Um, let's. We're going to go over what is fear based on the Course of Miracles. What what is fear? Like what is it? Let's get tangible with that. Um, I love the practicality, and I love to speak in a way that 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 it comes from living it, from the fullest expression of the principles of a Course of Miracles, not just analytical, but bringing bringing it from the head to the heart. Okay. Um, so let's start with uh, lesson forty eight, shall we? And um, for those that are joining me, welcome. Welcome to um, this page and grateful for you all. So there is nothing to fear. There is nothing to fear. Let me take a, a sip of my Cuban coffee. Excuse me. I, I'm a lover of Cuban coffee, by the way. What do you guys like to drink? Uh, what, do you guys like coffee? I don't know. I just love my Cuban coffee. And it's in, in my Miami cup because I'm a Miami girl, born and raised. Um... Yeah, I got to take another sip. This is just too good. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> wow, that's that's some yummy coffee there. All right. Um, ah, the idea for today simply states a fact. It's not a fact to those who believe in illusions. But illusions are not facts. In truth, there is nothing to fear. It is very easy to recognize this but it is very difficult to recognize it for those who want illusions to be true okay this is this is deep this is deep <laughs> so the idea for today simply states a fact what is this is saying this is saying what is a fact a fact is truth it's what's really really real of course a miracle says only love is real all else is an illusion so that means that fear is also an illusion okay so that's why um that's why um, the fact is that fearlessness is is the truth okay um, it's not a fact it is not a fact to those who believe in illusion so it's not a fact to those who believe in illusion so what is an illusion what is an illusion so the illusion is um, when you really believe in scarcity or when you really believe that somebody's attacking you, when you really believe that you're sick, um, when you believe that somebody's hurt you, that has done you wrong, um, that is when you are in the illusion, when um, you are not feeling well, when you're down, when you're depressed, you know, that's just an illusionary experience of where you're believing a thought and, and then the fact is, that um that fear is present that's what you feel you feel that fear is a fact right um 
And this is why it says here, it's not a fact to those who believe in illusions, but illusions are not facts. So, so the illusion is not a fact, but we believe that the illusion is the fact. But it says here that, that, it, that um, it says idea for today simply states a fact. So the fact that the Course is talking about is that there's nothing to fear. That's the fact, right? But we believe the fact is that illusions are real. And that's why we suffer. That's why we suffer. So I'm going to skip over here because then it talks about that today's practice. You're going to go ahead and repeat this idea. So if you are, um, thank you, um, smash the habit. Cheers from Florida, from Naples, Florida. Um, so it, basically this is saying that throughout the day in this workbook lesson in the course, it's saying um, to say merely that there is nothing to fear all day long. And also um, you can practice 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the evening um, saying there's nothing to fear. Okay, so if you're, um, Jamie, hi, sweetie. Mwah. Nice to see you, sweetheart. Nice. I was just thinking about you. I was just thinking about you. Um, so then I'm going to jump here to this last paragraph that says, the presence of fear is a sure sign that you're trusting in your own strength. All right. So what is it that we're doing here? We're trusting in our own strength. What is that? What is our own strength? Our own strength is that we believe that we can do it better than God, that we can control, that we can manipulate. So that is our own strength. Our own strength is like we can do it better. What the Course in Miracles is teaching us is to let go and start trusting in our true self, start trusting in the Holy Spirit, start to let go and let life happen because it's going to happen anyways. And, 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 and come from a place of, of trusting in that everything always, and I, I know this is really cliche, but that everything happens for, for the best. Everything is always working for you, right? So the presence of fear is a sure sign that you're trusting in your own strength is that um, when you are fearful, um, you are trusting in your own strength because you believe you're in charge. You're going to manipulate, you're going to control. And then from that sense, you start to get anxious. You start to get fearful. You start to get worried. You start to get worried. How is the meeting going to go? How's this phone call going to go? How is my doctor's appointment going to go? So there's this, there's this stress and there's this anxiousness because you're trusting in your own strength. So this is why you're fearful, because you want your agenda to come through. You want your agenda. You want what you think is the best for you. But we don't know. We don't know. You, when you come from the I don't know mind, filled with wonder, like a little child, open to the perception, open to a different perception, open to the perception of love, letting go, get your hand out of it. It's incredible. Okay, it says here, the awareness that there's nothing to fear shows that somewhere in your mind, though not necessarily in a place you recognize it yet, you have remembered God. So the awareness that there's nothing to fear. So you so when you so you recognize that there's nothing to fear when that's somewhere in your mind that necessarily a place you're not recognizing yet. You have remember God. So when you're not fearful, you you begin to remember who you are in truth. When you start letting go, go of control, when you start letting go of manipulation, when you start letting go of judgment, when you start letting go of fear, fearfulness, when you start to let go of of um, the attack, um, the defensiveness, all of that, you come back to the mind of God. You remember the the mind of God. And it says here, the awareness that there's nothing to fear shows that somewhere in your mind, though not necessarily in a place you recognize it yet, you have remembered God. And let his strength take the place of your weakness. Let his strength take the place of your weakness. So there's a really big call here. There's such a big call here. A call for you to just give it over. Lay it on the feet of of God. Just get out of the way. Let go of the control. Let go of the manipulation. Let go of the judgment. And go ahead and lay it down. Lay it down on on the feet of God. You know, on the, whatever, you know, like just metaphorically. 
right? And then it says here, um, and then it says, God, and let his strength take take place of your take the place of your weakness. So, guys, when we're trying to control, when we're trying to manipulate, when we are getting worried about an outcome or we're pro or projecting in the future, we're very weak. We're very weak because um, we're not trusting in, in that God has our back. We're not trusting that there's a bigger plan, that there's so much more than this body, that there's so much more than what's happening in front of us, that we, we get like sidetracked and become delusional. But when we remember God, everything starts to shift. It says here, the instant that you're willing to do this, there is indeed nothing to fear. So I am not, I am me personally, how I practice this is that when I think I know what is the highest and best for me, and when I become obsessive about it, or when I'm overthinking it, I know that I am fearful. I know that I, I feel like I need control. I'm com coming from what Course in Miracles calls scarcity thinking, okay? When I remember that yes, I have desires, I would love to do this, I would love to do that, again, it appears that we're in a world, so we're going to function as if we're in the world, because it does well, It does surely appear that I'm here. Do you guys see me? Okay, do you see my Mother Mary back there? Do you see my Blessed Mother back there, that she actually made her transition, um, almost, it's going to be last November, yeah, November, and she's right there, she's right there, right? She reminds me there's nothing to fear. So when we come back to what is really real, to what is true, that instant you, I at least, let go of the control, let go of the manipulation. Of course, I'm excited. I want purpose, I'm in purpose. Oh yes, I wanna create this or I wanna create that. But do I wanna be righteous and that I'm doing this, that I'm making this happen? Or do I want to get out of the way and just and just know that I don't need to have any attachments? That that I if I allow things to be exactly what they are, I have a clear mind, I am not fearful, and from there I can live. From there I live. From there I am the expression in the world. Does that make sense? So it's like, okay, let me let me start there with the release of control, the release of judgments, the release of that. I can make it happen and just lay my my control on my father's feet and just really give it all over wholeheartedly and then there's nothing to fear. The idea for today simply states it's not a fact to those who believe in illusions, but illusions are not facts. So when we're believing in the illusion, we don't believe that it's a fact that there's nothing to fear because we're believing in the illusions. Right? But let's turn it around. Let's turn it around. I've recognized it and have testimony to this every, every day of my life when I let go of the illusion, when I am willing to let go of the illusion and come back to God and I recognize that there is nothing to fear. Nothing. That's the good news. That no matter how hard things may be going on for you in your life right now, when you're looking at this Instagram, I know I have my things too. You know, yesterday I was having, I would say, an, a, a, an off day. We're all going to have our off days. So for those that have gotten are going through an issue maybe in your relationship or you've gotten not so good news or 
you're scared about something. You're simply feeling lost and alone or pondering in the illusion. I invite you to I invite you to give it over to your father. To put it at your father's feet. And then you recognize that there's nothing to fear. The only thing that's causing your fear is what you're thinking and believing. What's causing your fear is what you're thinking and believing, which is the illusion. So believe in the good, believe in the holy, believe in the oneness, believe that and know that you are one with God, holy, whole, and perfect. And no matter what may be going on in your life right now, whatever that may be, whatever fear might be happening right this moment, just know that you are so loved beyond measure. It blows my mind how loved we are, how, what is really real here, what is true. And then it's game time. Then it's game time. And then there's nothing to fear. <sighs> I love you guys. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mwah.